Net Merit to me is, you know, is really uh, uh, just such a wonderful tool that our industry has and, uh, you know, is, is one of the uh, primary reasons why, uh, you know, the U.S. dairy population is uh, um, as highly sought after or the genetics that we have is as highly sought after as, as we have is because of the genetic evaluation methods uh, that we, we, we use and, and the uh, selection tools that's available. And we've changed, seen it changed over the years. We've seen it improve uh, and it's improved as our knowledge increases and we have the ability to uh, measure new traits and, and add them in. The latest additions are uh, heifer livability, uh, early first calving, and of course uh, residual feed intake and feed saved. So those, those three are really due to our ability to uh, to mine the data, to dig into the information that we have. For example, early first calving is a great example of that, of, of just getting more information out of the data that we have. And then the uh, brand new uh, data that's coming from the uh, feed efficiency studies that uh, have uh, resulted from uh, you know five years of uh, research and is uh, extremely valuable and, and has received funding to continue on and to continue to uh, provide the industry with information to be used in the genetic evaluation. So it's those, those uh, additions of the, uh, of the three new traits that's quite exciting with net merit. The confirmation traits, we've made great improvements. So now we're backing off the extra improvement that we feel that we need in udders and feet and legs, we, we will continue to improve udders and feet and legs, but we, we just will slow down the improvement a little bit. Based on all the research that has been conducted, uh, we look at the, uh, the body weights of our cows, and we look at uh, that we want to do a better job of uh, feed efficiency and saving the feed, saving feed that we put into the cows. So we feel quite comfortable that we can uh, lower the body weights of our current cows and, uh, uh, and change that component um, for the next decade uh, or maybe even longer. But we're talking about, you know, in the next decade, probably about a 50 pound decrease in body weight. Uh, if you look at 20 years in advance, it would be a hundred pounds decrease in body weight. So, in the near term, it's a very good uh, direction to be going. In the long term, it certainly will require uh, constant monitoring it and new research to evaluate it. So the, the net merit, uh, you know, the latest edition, um, it's, it's only the uh, current edition because we know darn well we'll have a, uh, another one in a few years and another one after that. And if we didn't, uh, that would be an indication that we're doing something uh, incorrect or we're not keeping up with all of the new information that we now have, have uh, in our hands. To me, this is the 50th anniversary because if you look back upon the uh, selection tools that have been coming from USDA and, and now subsequently the, the council, it started in 1971. Uh, back then, we had uh, two traits, just uh, milk and fat, and it was called uh, PD dollars, predicted difference dollars. And then um, five years later, uh, protein was added. It became uh, milk, fat, protein dollars. And then in 1994, it took on its uh, more uh, formal name or the name that we know it by today, uh, net merit dollars. But... Um, yeah, I, I, I would say that uh, 50 years is a pretty good indication that uh, they're doing things correctly and that it just uh, gets better and better over time.